Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at two different types of loading screens. We have your basic one here that uses images and then we have this one here that uses videos. So I have a server set up for us and if we go into our resources we can actually open up these loading screens and you can see what they are. So this is the one that I've put my own video into because this is the original background image that they had chosen for it. I simply went into Premiere Pro and chose that the, the media is offline because I deleted the uh, old background video. But I simply took their background video, dropped it in, and dropped my own video layer over top of it. You can use any sort of editing software that you would like um, to customize this because I was having some issues with actually getting just the regular video that I downloaded off of YouTube to actually work. So as long as you make a copy of the original background and overlay a new background in it in 1080, um, it should work. You'll be able to drag it in don't need to save any of that. So that's what this is what this loading screen looks like. And this down at the bottom actually has a bar. And the other loading screen that we're going to be taking a look at today, and I'll be showing you how to download and install these, is a little bit simpler. The background is not showing uh, in Chrome, but you have your, your rules, your connect with us, and then the content like what's actually on the server, and you can customize all of those. This is the first loading screen we're going to be taking a look at. So I simply just did a test to make sure that these guys are working. You pretty much just want to go into the config, and you want to set your, your background image. By default, when you download this, it is going to say, use background color true. You just want to change that to say, use background color false and then change use background image from false to true and you can select whatever background image at whatever file extension you want. I would personally use a .png but you can use a .jpg uh, or whatever your preferred picture file type is. Uh, it has audio, you pretty much just grab the so if we go back over here and we just pop out my channel over here and let's click on the this video here. You pretty much just want these little bit of letters and numbers before the, the channel and stuff. Now the GitHub page for this, I believe covers this. Yeah, so it covers it, it's at the question watch, and then the channel ID. And that'll bring up your music. So this, loading screen will be linked down in the description. You simply just want to click code, download zip, and open it up here. And you want to close out of that. And we will delete here in resources. We will delete this loading screen. I'm not going to delete uh, that one because I have the actual video file that I'm using stored in there. Just drag it in, drop it, and call it loading screen. You want to head over to your TX admin and you want to go into your CFG editor or I don't have the actual server that I use for videos uh, at the moment that's currently sitting on a hard drive uh, that is in a different location so I don't have that set up because I completely redid Windows on my computer but you could have it in a config file like how I showed in the previous video uh, and just ensure this in in your scripts.cfg. So here I have loading screen insured, and if we start the server, you'll notice that when we launch 5M and actually go in to take a look at the server, we go play, and then we connect to our local host, you'll see it just gives you this with a black background. So what we're going to do in order to change that is we're going to head into our config folder uh, once we get into the game here and I can quit out of 5M. 
but we are going to head into our config folder to actually change that out from just that black grayish background to a actual image. So you want to go into the loading screen folder then click loading screen again and open up config. Here as you can see, oh, it's saying to use that. Why isn't that working? Um, hello? That is our loading screen. Images and everything are there. It should be showing us this image. So here's one thing we can do if that does not work. We can always head back to our CFX default base and delete our cache folder. Now that that's deleted, I'm going to go ahead and give our server a restart. And that's going to bring everything back online. And we're going to take another look to see if it worked. But by default, uh, those two things should be switched around. I believe it was because I already had it in there and I deleted it and re-added it. It caused that issue. Uh, we're going to see right now if that issue is fixed now that the cache folder is no longer there. Yeah, as you can see now, it was just a cache folder issue. If you have that issue and everything is set correctly, where use background color is false, and use background image is set to true, just simply change that out. So it'll load you into the server with that nice background. And from there, the only things you have to do, which you can do on your own, is in your config, just update the website to what yours is, your rules, and whatever you want to put down here in content. You can even change out the background images and use your own images if you would like. So now that that is out of the way, as well as you see that it doesn't, actually it does, yeah. Insert server title name here. So we can just make this like, we'll just say, hello YouTube tutorial. We can save that, restart the server, and when we rejoin, it's going to show Hello YouTube server, or YouTube tutorial. And that's just pretty much just going to be what the title of your server is. You know, like, no pixel RP or, or, or something like that. And as you can see here, kind of in the white background text, it says, Hello YouTube tutorial. It's kind of hard to see because of the white text, but you should be able to change that. Um, don't really have to. It works with whatever image, really. So now that that loading screen is done, and I quickly covered at the beginning of this video how to set up the, the video for the second loading screen, you can literally download whatever you want. I just looked up like 4K Nature on YouTube and grabbed a video and downloaded it. So the next one we're going to be looking at here is this loading screen. You can just simply, same thing again, download zip, and we'll actually do that for the sake of this video. Open it up. We'll say 5M loading screen main. You go in here where it says loading screen, and you would just simply drag and drop that into your resources folder. We already have one called loading screen. This one is called video loading screen. So in here, you what you would do is you would go, you'd open up the loading screen folder. You would go into HTML and assets. This is where you can change out the background video, which is this video here of just a, a nature scene that was cut down to actually fit the, the length that it had. And here, this is just the logo. It can be whatever size you want. It'll fit on the screen, and then they have a MP3 music file. So for that one, once you create your video, there's no really configuration changing or anything you have to do. I would recommend still taking this background video into whatever your video editing software of choice is and changing it out uh, just by overlapping another video on top of it. 
So once you have done that and you've exported that as a MP4, it has to be an MP4 file, you can then go into your TX admin. We'll stop our server. And I'll go ahead and once again, for video's sake, delete the cache. If you haven't put in a loading screen yet, that's all good. You can go ahead and delete the cache. We can go into our CFG editor. We're going to comment out the other loading screen and start our video loading screen. So we click save. We forgot to start the server. Go back over here, click start. Once, the ser once we see that the server is online, we can then go ahead and open up 5M. Now for me, the reason I am going into play and connecting like this, instead of clicking this button here, for whatever reason, 5M uh, wants to think that the local host is a completely different computer. I have another server running on a completely different computer uh, for a YouTuber, and it wants to throw me into that server. So I just click play. You just type in like localhost call in 3120 or your PC's default IP address on your uh, network. And for me, that is just one nine, it should be 192.168.1 dot a set of numbers. So now if we click connect here, you're going to see it shows us our background with the nice little loading bar at the bottom with whatever logo you decide to switch that out with. And that's gonna take you and load you into your game depending on how many scripts you have and how long it takes your server to load up could depend on how long that video plays. So we can now exit the game. And if you wanna, for those of you who wanna connect with your IP address, I can show you this real quick. You type in CMD, you open up your command prompt and you type in IP config and hit enter and it will tell you your IP right here. Your IPv4 address for your computer. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe. 90% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Uh, so make sure to click that subscribe button, hit the bell, join the Discord linked down in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Goodbye.